Hi, I'm Sherry Strong, author and illustrator of Return to Food, the Life-Changing Anti-Diet. Now, I've branded myself for the last 15 years as a food philosopher, and people often ask me, what does a food philosopher mean? Or what is a food philosopher? And in Australia, they'd probably say a food philosopher is a maker. <laughs> and um, I, I struggled with that for years, thinking, you know, was that um, me thinking more of myself? But I truly have developed philosophies that once you understand them, you see they are designed to help people develop a healthy, healthy relationship with food, their body, and the planet, and relate to food in a different way through a philosophical approach and a non-diet approach. So in Return to Food, the illustration I'm talking about today is Rest in Peace Perfect Eating. So this is what it looks like in the original illustrations that I did for the book. And the idea behind it was really to get rid of this whole concept that we should be eating in a perfect way. I don't know about you, but I am so tired around that whole piece that actually comes with with eating and when you're trying to actually eat in a way that actually serves you better there's so much judgment that comes from the world it it comes from us internally we have this huge expectation particularly if it's your profession you have this internal expectation where you're meant to be a perfect eater and if you're eating something that isn't raw broccoli <laughs> and it's not and it's you know if it's not organic all those kinds of things that there's this kind of feels like pressure and and I know a lot of people feel guilt around that which is why I actually have a product called Guilt Away which you'll hear about in another illustration but essentially I decided that dieting didn't work I knew that but I also wanted to kind of lay to rest that concept of perfect eating so I did this illustration it was one of the last ones that actually went into the book and I've got rest in Rest in Peace, Perfect Eating 2014. And I did this little, like I was writing a little um, eulogy for perfect eating. So I say, perfect eating was laid to rest today. It leaves behind many millions it had difficult relationships with and many more who are relieved to see its exit from this world. Many will try in vain to revive perfect eating. There will be sightings in Las Vegas with Elvis and other parts of the world. Know these are impersonators and not and be comforted that although like Jesus people will try to resurrect perfect eating um, but you can uh, sorry people will try to resurrect perfect eating but you can be free from its tyranny I can't even read my own writing so I'm not how, sure how I'll expect you to but although the body was never found rumors still abound that perfect eating never did exist we now can absolutely confirm it does not and never has. Perfect eating is survived by its one distant re relative, peaceful eating, who wholeheartedly accepts your donations of love, comfort, and is here for you. Um, and wants you to know you are now free to eat with joy and gratitude. So that's kind of my take on perfect eating and I really encourage the people that I work with, my clients and my coaches, to get to that place where we've replaced that concept of perfect eating with peaceful eating, knowing that everything that you're doing is trying to move in the right direction or you're moving in the right direction. It is a day-by-day -day scenario. There are going to be times where you partake in the lethal recipe and what I encourage people to do is just try and try and find the healthiest version of it and make sure the bulk of what you're doing is highly nourishing, energizing, protective. So those times where you do indulge in things that aren't totally making your body stronger or serving your body, that your body can withstand that hit that it actually takes. So rest in peace, perfect eating 2014 and may peaceful eating enter your life in a big way. I'm Sherry Strong, author and illustrator of Return to Food, the life-changing anti-diet. If you've enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends or comment in the box below. And if you want more resources on how to develop a healthier relationship with food, your body, and the planet, please go to returntofood.com.